Hey what's up boys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today what we're going to be looking at is some new 5 star skillers that could be in FIFA 17. We're looking at some potential ones. I think one or two were actually confirmed by Kazooie who is you know in with the A's. One of those YouTubers that managed to get in which is actually so cool. I'm so glad that EA are finally starting to do stuff with YouTubers. As we've seen over the last year with like Castro, Spencer FC etc etc. But we're going to go into some of the new 5 star skillers. I have put together some cards and then their bios as well like that I've edited it all on Photoshop, which is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool that we can actually edit stuff like that. So massive shout outs to the designers that actually make all this possible as well. And without further ado, let's get into it. And yes, I know my hair looks like fucking shit. I've got I've got an excuse, all right? It's really hot outside. It's really hot outside, all right? Leave me alone. But without further ado, let's go into the five star skillers. Let's start off in, you know, kind of kind of settled down territory, you know, we, we already know he's a 5 star skiller, it's Balassi, I believe he was already confirmed as a 5 star skiller in FIFA 17, he couldn't, he transferred, sorry, I was going to say he currently works for Everton for some reason, he currently transferred to Everton for like 28 million pounds, it was 22.5 plus like 5.5 million in add-ons as well, which is pretty cool, uh, it was a good play for Crystal Palace, I found it quite funny because Alan Pardew was sat there like after the Crystal Palace versus I think it was West Brom game, and he was there like, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Balassi is going to stay. Uh, he doesn't really care about you know paper talk and that. And then like the day after he gets transferred to Everton, so I thought that was quite funny. Let me know, Everton fans, if you're excited to see him play. He's a very good player in my opinion, and I think he'll do pretty well at Everton as well. And yeah, he looks like a pretty good card. Four star skill, uh, sorry, four star weak foot, five star skill moves. He's six foot one as well, which is pretty awesome. He's a pretty solid card at that, and yeah, hopefully he does get five star skills. Next up is Eric Lamella. Now, a lot of people on Twitter told me to use Eric Lamella. I personally haven't watched Tottenham last year. I watched two teams week in, week out. It's Man United and Leicester. I was born in Manchester and support Man United and I live in Leicester. So I thought I'd, you know, help him out with my support because obviously my support won them the league. But we have Eric Lamella. Apparently, he's been really, really skillful this year. And from what I've seen on like Match of the Day and stuff, he looks like a very solid player. So I gave him five-star skills because a lot of you guys were suggesting him as a five-star skiller. Pretty cool player as well. I remember back in FIFA 13 when he used to play for Roma, he used to have 5 star skills. I remember he got like an 87 or 88 rated team of the season card. That was a pretty sick card, I can tell you that for free. And him and Balotelli up top, whew, nice. But yeah, so we have <laughs> we have Eric Lamella there. And let's move on to the next one. Next up is Lucas Moura. Now, from what I've heard, he has been very skillful and very good in PSG. Oh, sorry, in the last year for PSG. Um, from what I've heard, he's been skilling alongside Zlatan over the last year um, and could deserve five-star skill moves. Another one from Twitter. I've got to recommend you guys to my Twitter account. It's where you guys can vote on stuff for, uh, for videos and stuff like that. And you guys can help me out and, you know, focus on, not focus, feature in videos. That's about right. But apparently Lucas has been very skillful over the last year alongside Zlatan. I can imagine Zlatan was just, you know, was giving them all these new skill moves to try out. Like, he'll do this one, the Zlatan says, do that one. And, you know, I can imagine it being something along the lines of that. But they'd be a pretty good five-star skiller in my opinion. Next up. We have Riyad Mahrez from Leicester. Now, he was very skillful last year. I've got to say so myself. He was very good. When he was playing at the top of his game, he was a very skillful, very good player. And he was unbeatable down that right wing. And hopefully, he does get himself five-star skills. Because he is going to be a very high-rated card in terms of what he was last year. He'll be he'll be like in the 80s next year. 100% in FIFA 17. He's got to be. They've won the league. I can imagine pretty much everyone's going to be gold. Have a massive bump up. Which would be pretty cool as well. Because he got a, a, an upgrade last year of like 70. Seven, I think it was, or 76. Him and uh, him and Vardy uh, got pretty cool upgrades. Everyone thought he was going to get five-star skill upgrade in uh, January skillers upgrades, but unfortunately he didn't. So hopefully he just get it with FIFA 17 because that'd be pretty cool. Another five-star skill in the BPL. This is the confirmed one. It is Paul Pogba. I give him an 88 rated card because it was pretty biased of me. I am a Man United fan. Like I've got to admit, it was biased as fuck of me. And he, I don't think he'll get an 88 rated card. I think he's actually confirmed to get 87. I've got to recommend you guys to Kazooie's video because he had a lot of like sneak peeks in there of of like confirmed stuff. Because obviously him being in with the A, I can't imagine it's not confirmed. But maybe I'm just being silly. But yeah, you guys got. I've got to recommend go watch that video because he's got some stuff in there that you guys can see. But Pogba, I think he'll get. Five star skills. I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed as well. I, I threw out a, a five star week for as well because I was like, you know what, we might as well go all the way. I'm really biased, and I've got to admit it, I am extremely biased towards Pogba and Manchester United. This probably won't happen. The five star week for and the 88 rated, but hopefully it does because that'd be so sick. And I'm sorry if I'm a bit too biased in my videos. Last but not least, it's the king. It is the man of the hour. It is Latan Ibrahimovic. 
What a card, what a player. Yes, I am being biased, but I think this guy got a five star skills yet again. I want to see FIFA 13's Latan again. I want to see FIFA 14's Latan again because they were two incredible Latans. And hopefully, we see the five star skills Latan come back because that'd be absolutely sick. Two five star skills for Man United, that'd be epic. Six foot five, absolute tank. I am very excited for you, 17 lads, if you can't already tell. And hopefully, we do get a uh, five star skill as Latan as well. But. That marks pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate your support. Thank you all for 7.4k subscribers as well. And we just hit a million views on the channel as well. One million. That is incredible. So thank you all for your incredible support. If you made it to this part of the video, leave a hashtag. Just comment five star skillers down below to let me know you made it to this part in the video. Thank you all for your support. And I'll see you later.